Nowadays, sustainable organic agriculture has gained wide use. People have started to pay more attention to their health and don't want to poison themselves and the environment with agrochemicals. Biohumus occupies a unique place in the range of organic fertilizers. It is an ecologically pure and biologically active organic fertilizer which is derived from the processing of organic waste with red Californian worms and microorganisms. In 1959 in California, a new variety of the earthworm was produced through selective breeding which received the name of the red Californian worm. The red Californian worm is prolific and active and grows well in the artificial environment. During the processing of one ton of organic waste with worms, 600 kilos of biohumus is extracted. The remaining 400 kilos is transformed into 100 kilos of valuable protein in the form of biomass of worms. Biohumus restores soil fertility, improves soil structure, adds to the organic mass of soil, contains nutrients available for plants to use, is rich in growth hormones, amino acids, growth stimulating microflora and has phytosanitary importance. It doesn't contain weed seeds, thus minimizing the fight against weeds. Is free from toxic chemicals and pathogens. Improve the cation exchange capacity. Prevents soil hardening and erosion. Removes the soil alkalinity and salinization. Preserves the optimal pH value. Increases the water holding capacity. The microflora too develops actively around the biohumus. The studies of professionals show that one ton of biohumus contains on average 45 kilos of nutrients, which exceeds the nutrient value of organic fertilizers. When you visited us two months ago, all plants were of this size. We have used biohumus and are very pleased with the results. Biohumus helps to grow a healthy plant and stimulates the rapid growth and earlier maturity of the crop. We have an area where biohumus has not been used at all. This area is for comparison and today we are able to make a comparison. We see great results. This crop yields mature 30% more than the one not fertilized with biohumus. Even if they yield the same results, it is preferable to use biohumus versus inorganic fertilizer because what we grow is for mankind and inorganic fertilizers are chemical substances which are harmful to human health. Biohumus is very useful to people. The experimental studies show that the application of biohumus increases the yield of cereals by about 30 up to 40 percent, potatoes by 30 up to 70 percent, and the vegetables by 35 up to 70 percent. In my opinion, the use of biohumus increases the crop capacity and early maturing by 20 percent. And if you bring your product to market a week earlier, the price for tomato sharply falls in a week, and this is also economically profitable. With the view of expanding the volume of production and use of biohumus, Armenian Women for Health and Healthy Environment, a non-governmental organization, has been engaged for over seven years in the dissemination of biohumus production and consumption practices in rural communities. Within the framework of the project entitled Say No to Chemicals in Our Environment, funded by Global Ecological Fund Small Grants Program, the organization conducted a practical training program for farmers and provided them with worms to start their own small production. Within the framework of the project, small production bases of biohumus were established in 31 farms of 8 communities. With the view of conducting experiments, the farmers were also provided with biohumus. On a piece of land, one up to two meters wide, with the length depending on quantity of manure, five up to six thick straw should be spread, which then should be covered with 30 up to 60 centimeters thick, five up to six month old manure. It is preferable to cover the floor area with concrete or remove the loose layer of soil 
Then to put worms on the ready mess and cover the pile with straw or dried leaves. For rapid processing of one ton of manure, 6,000 up to 15,000 adult worms are required. Manure and organic wastes should be regularly moistened by 70 up to 85 percent. The worms start their activities at the bottom and then crawl up. The worms can be separated from biohumus if 30 up to 40 cm thick fresh mixture is spread along the pile towards which the worms will migrate in 3 up to 5 days. Normal living conditions for red worms are provided at 19 degrees Celsius, which is close to their body temperature. The red worm is afraid of the light and the ultraviolet rays are lethal for them. Therefore, the light should not directly affect the habitat. The biohumus, obtained both in boxes and piles, should be sifted with a sieve which has 4 mm holes and it should be used as organic fertilizer. So here the biohumus, in contrast to the manure, does not contain wheat seeds because by passing the wheat seeds through their bodies, the worms process them and finally convert them into organic fertilizer free of weeds. The biohumus production is carried out both in individual forms and in production volumes. Orwako is an Armenian-Norwegian joint venture which aims to transform organic waste into a valuable organic fertilizer. Uh, I'm representing a company in Norway uh, called Hust, in English Harvest. Harvest values in waste. So throughout these 30 years I've always been occupied in exploiting the values in waste, both energy and nutrients. Vermicomposting is earthworms, lots of them, eating uh, the, the, the substrate, the waste. So then we applied for a project in Norway to get grants to learn about biohumus and to try to industrialize the process, converting the waste from the mushroom industry, mix it with the sludge from the biogas plant and then produce fertilizer. To fertilize one hectare of land, 3.5 up to 6 tons of biohumus is needed. To overdose the soil with biohumus is impossible. The more, the better. Biohumus is much better than nitrogen fertilizer because it is not washed out by rainwater and stays in the soil. Biohumus increases the germination capacity, sprouting energy, promotes the promptly rooting of grafts promotes the rapid growth of seedlings, promotes the root formation, plant growth and development, increases yield and reduces crop maturity dates, increases plant resistance and stability to unfavorable weather conditions, protects plants from pests and diseases, increases the content of sugar, proteins and vitamins, reduces nitrates, heavy metals and radionuclides in crops. With great pleasure, I would like to show you our fruits and vegetables. We have fertilized them with biohumus and got a double, triple and even four times as much yield, not to mention the taste quality. It is true that to grow this, neither biohumus nor nitrogen fertilizer has been used. We are doing organic farming and avoid using pesticides as much as possible. This is also fertilized with biohumus. We can cut it to show you that though it is big, it is very healthy and not affected by insects or diseases. The beans have been fertilized with biohumus too. Though these are different varieties, this variety turns out to be smaller than this one fertilized with biohumus. Spread the biohumus onto the soil surface, preferably close to the plant, mix with soil, loosen it and then water it. Biohumus can be used during the seed processing before sowing, growing seedlings, earthing up and periodical leaf feeding. Better results for growing seedlings are obtained when you mix three parts of soil with one part of biohumus. When planting a seedling, put one or two handfuls of biohumus around the seedling stem. 
The potato is very sensitive to biohumus. It is preferable to introduce up to 100 grams of biohumus under each tuber. After transplanting cucumbers, tomatoes, and cabbages, it is preferable to mulch with one up to two centimeter layer of biohumus. During the irrigation, the biohumus will get to the roots. Strawberry will blossom and get mature seven up to days earlier if the beds are mulched with one up to two centimeters of biohumus. Each year, the introduction of a two up to three centimeter thick layer of biohumus in the soil around the trunks of the trees may contribute to the increasing fruitfulness, and the fruits will be bigger and more beautiful and delicious. Last year, we obtained 9 up to 12 tons of yield, and this year, by using biohumus, we have obtained 70 up to 90 tons of crop. Thus, the yield of our garden has increased by 7 up to 8 times. We can sell our high-quality crop at a much higher price than the neighbors. Under the seedlings, you can introduce 4 up to 5 kilos of biohumus. Under fruit trees, 3.5 up to 7 kilos. And under greens, 1.5 up to 2 kilos of biohumus per 1 square meter surface. Biohumus is the best food for soil fertility and plant health.